there. If you don't already know me, this is my channel, Shy's Designs, and I am Cheyenne. I am a new mom and a new wife. I am here to breathe life back into furniture and to make beautiful furniture affordable again. Let's get started. To open up this video, we have a free Bassett Furniture solid wood desk here. This little guy is so cute and I can't wait to see this piece finished. I did notice a break in the wood on one of the legs, but I have a piece that broke off so it should be an easy fix. I can't wait to see how this piece turns out. Let's see how it went, shall we? So to start, I gave it a good washing up with some afterwash. Then I wiped it down with clean water and a clean rag to pick up any of that residue. Then I proceeded to get in there with a vacuum because this little guy had some major cobwebs and dust bunnies. Fun thing though, I did find a note from 1964 in this desk. Check it out. Next, I removed the hardware. I reused the hardware, so I just ended up throwing them in a boiling water pot for a good cleanup, and then I sprayed them with a matte black finish by Krylon. Then I proceeded to remove the tiny corbel pieces. I didn't much care for them, and with the drawer in the middle, it already made for minimum leg room. Now onto sanding. This bit was super quick. With that plastic wood filler, I patched up the few spots that I saw while I was sanding, and then moved on to patch that leg. With Type Bond 2 Premium Wood Glue, I applied a thin layer, and then clamped the broken wood piece to the leg where it was missing. Then after it was dry, I removed the clamp, sanded it down a little bit, and then added my wood filler to fill in the rest of the gaps. Now onto priming. Next, I taped off the drawers so I wouldn't get any spray on the inside. For the color, I actually used a color I created and I got it color matched. You can see the color formula here on the screen if you would like to get it for yourself. I used my Rex Betty for the paint application. I used Chalk Teak to transform my bare paint into chalk paint. And I used the viscosity measure to make sure my paint was passing all the way through within 35 seconds to get the perfect application through my sprayer. 35 seconds is truly the sweet spot. I made sure to filter my paint to ensure I didn't get any debris in my paint application. Now on to painting. This bit is pretty straightforward. You hold your sprayer a good few inches from your surface, continuously move it as if spraying spray paint, and start your sprayer right off the edge of your piece so you don't get any buildup on your corners. For the top coat, I used Verithane Ultimate Polyurethane Matte Water Base Top Coat. I mixed in a little bit of my paint color just so I don't get a weird glazed top coat. I usually like to apply my top coat with a roller because that's what I'm most comfortable with, but I did see a YouTube video using this exact sprayer for the application, so I thought I would try that. Well. It didn't really go to plan. I followed all the instructions, but it just didn't work out for me. When I started spraying, all of my top coat came out on one side and it was awful. So I decided to whip out my roller and just roll the rest of the top coat onto my desk. 
I realize using a roller is a little bit unconventional when it comes to top coat because of the bubbles that it can cause, but I like to focus on one area at a time. I make sure the top coat is covering that entire area and then I continue to roll over it with my roller until it's a little bit tacky and all of my bubbles are gone. And after all that, I finally got to put back on my hardware and stage this piece. I love how this turned out. The hardware really popped and I love that about it. And all more exciting, this piece was free. Amazing. Now, I know I usually go over numbers during this time of the video, but because I just finished this piece and I just listed it, I do not have a number for you guys, but I will be posting it to my Instagram and Facebook once I do sell, and I'll give you the profit margins then. For the quick shakedown for this whole piece, I had no upfront cost. I did get this desk for free. Amazing. So happy about that. The paint matching that I did, the whole can cost me $14, and for the top coat I did use a little bit more than I was expecting because of my mishap, and those cans run me $20. For the amount that I used, it's about 5 or $6 to flip this piece. What? <laughs> so I am very excited to see the profit margins on this guy. I will give you the complete numbers once I sell it. Like I said, on Instagram and Facebook, you can find me, Shy's Designs, no spaces, no apostrophes. I am very excited about this guy. One of my favorites, truly. Let's wait and see. Thank you so much for coming to spend this time with me and coming on yet another adventure. Video number four. Oh my gosh, I feel so accomplished. And it's all thanks to you guys. If you enjoyed this video or happen to learn something, leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. I post every Sunday morning. See you then. Now on to numbers, coming soon. <laughs> Ah, oh, that's so cheesy. Okay. Uh, maybe not that. So a quarter of 20 is... <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. Woo! Number video! Uh... Okay. Oh, Alright. Cool. That was bad.